Welcome back to another Algadoo video. In this one, I'm going to show you different experiments you can do to test conservation of momentum. And make sure you stay till the end because I'm going to speed build a car and then smash it into walls out of pure rage and frustration. Enjoy! 9.5 meters below space and time. This crash, this okay, so how much interest? Well, I'm going to take this vector queen. Welcome back to Physics Teacher. Today I'm going to show you three simple labs you can do to test conservation of momentum. The first one is basically a simple collision. Just create uh, two circles and you can use the grid to make sure that they are perfectly aligned if you want to do a head-on collision, like so. Give one an initial velocity. By going to velocities, give it initial velocity in x. Uh, make sure you have gravity and air resistance turned off, and then you can test a collision. I have notice I have vector momentums turned on to view over here, so that we can view those momentums. And if you want, you can do a velocity on the other object as well in our negative x direction. And you can see momentum before and after. And then you can try that into your equations to see if momentum was truly conserved. If you want to, you can also slightly move one off so that you can do two-dimensional collisions. And you can also test elastic versus inelastic collisions by going up to material and maxing out restitution. That's our elasticity. If they both have an elasticity of 1, then they're 100% elastic and essentially there's no loss of kinetic energy. And we can see that in this head-on collision where their momentum simply swapped. All right, uh, next example can create here is what we call a ballistic pendulum. So what I've created is a pendulum. So we just have a circle on a, a rigid rod, not on um, a rope or a chain, just a rod. We attach it uh, to fix it in place. Make sure you just want to fix the two objects in place and not to the background because you do want it to move. And then you put an axle at the top. So it's fixed to the background, but able to swing. Then I have this little tube representing our ballistic with our little circle representing our bullet. Now I gave the bullet an initial, very large initial velocity, horizontal velocity. So it will go through and into um, the circle. Now for this, you do need gravity on. Without gravity on, our pendulum will just swing in, <laughs> in circles over and over again. But our goal is to one, test conservation of momentum as the bullet hits the circle. And then you can test um, conservation of energy as the circle and the bullet together have a certain kinetic energy and they rise up to a certain potential energy. You can take the grid off for this one, but we will need gravity on. And when we launch it, you can see how high it went. Okay, and you can do a number of experiments with that one. And the last one for fun, we have a little makeshift billiard table. Now for this one, I've just created um, a square where I cut out the middle, or a rectangle where I cut out the middle, and then I made it immortal. So that means um, that any killer object won't destroy it because I have all of the pocket holes at the side um, just as killer objects. And they're all fixed in place along with um, the table itself. And then you can oh, turn gravity off. <laughs> you can want gravity off for that one. And you can test different collisions. You can change your velocity, change where you aim them. See if you can get, oh, I got the black ball in the pocket. See if you can get a certain number of them in the pocket and have some fun with it. 
All right, let's speed build that car.